Welcome back. New at 5, it's a huge step in bringing healthy and affordable food to downtown Colorado Springs. The area currently somewhat of a food desert, getting a grocery store. News size Katie Blaze has a preview of what's coming. Well, coming to downtown May of 2020, Bread and Butter Neighborhood Market is going to be a locally owned community grocery store. The two owners working on this project hoping to make a big impact on residents in this area. Downtown Colorado Springs may be a vibrant area filled with restaurants, bars, clothing stores, and other businesses, but it's missing a pretty big and basic amenity. Downtown Colorado Springs is basically devoid of grocery stores. The closest ones nearby, like the Safeways on Nevada and Wasatch, or the Natural Grocers, still at least one to three miles away from downtown. If you don't have access to a vehicle, or um, don't have a lot of time on your hands, and you're limited by affordability, for instance, not having a convenient market uh, becomes a real challenge in terms of accessing food. And that means some people might be turning to convenience stores, which don't always have the healthiest options. If we really want more people to live downtown, which is an effort that is ongoing, um, they've got to have access to a grocery store. Which is exactly what Day and her mm -hmm. co-owner, Stacy Poor, will be bringing to downtown this coming spring. Bread and Butter Neighborhood Market is going to be a, a locally owned downtown community grocery store. The store, which will be located at 602 South Nevada Avenue, where the current vet center is, will have seven 1,700 square feet for groceries and 800 feet for spirits. We'll provide as much local produce um, and products as we possibly can. It'll be smaller. We won't have as many items to choose from in any particular category. But if you want to find uh, greeting cards or flowers, a nice bottle of wine, uh, dinner for the evening, those things will be available to you. As well as hygiene and household items. Our hope is that the community uh, can really count on bread and butter. And the owners tell me they also hope to create some good jobs for people. They'll be hiring a mix of full and part-time workers, about 15 positions. I'm told renovations for the store will start early next year. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Katie Blaze, News 5. A strong cold front will be in play tomorrow.